yes we have discussed about quadratic equation in earlier classes and we have solved some problems of quadratic equation by factorization method and one exercise is there and you have to solve quadratic equation by factorization method now uh, we are learning how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square so this is also very important we are taking three questions let us take first question x square minus 10x minus 2 is equal to 0 we have to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square this can be written as x square x square minus in the middle you change this one as 2 into a into b you know a square plus 2ab or a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to a minus b whole square so we are changing this 10x in the form of 2ab so first of all we'll write 2 from our side and since here is x so into x and then you compare from 10x to get 10x by how much number we have to multiply we have to multiply by 5 since 5 we have multiplied from our side and 2 is here so the multiplication is 2ab so this will be equal to 5 whole square equal to this minus 2 is shifted that side and since this 5 whole square is extra here we have added so in right side also you add 5 whole square this implies x square minus 2x into 5 plus 5 whole square this is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square so this can be written as x minus 5 whole square is equal to 2 plus 25 implies x minus 5 whole square is equal to 27 this implies x minus 5 whole square we have changed this one in the form of a minus b whole square here also this 27 can be changed in the square form as plus minus plus minus 3 root 3 whole square plus minus 3 root 3 whole square is 27 either plus 3 root 3 whole square is 27 or minus 3 root 3 whole square is 27 now in both sides we have a square so taking a square root on both sides taking taking square root square root on both sides both sides we get we get x minus 5 is equal to plus minus 3 root 3 this implies either x minus 5 is equal to plus 3 root 3 or x minus 5 is equal to minus 3 root 3 and the value of x is 5 plus 3 root 3 and or x is equal to 5 minus 3 root 3 in this way by changing this quadratic equation in a square form we can find the value of x so 5 plus 3 root 3 and 5 minus 3 root 3 these are the roots of this given quadratic equation x square minus 10x minus 2 is equal to 0 in this way you have to make the second question and third question This is the method to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. 
now you can take one more example let us take question number 2 question number 2 in question number 2 we have tan x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 this can be written as taking x as lcm tan x square minus 1 is equal to 3 implies tan x square minus 1 is equal to 3x and this implies <coughs> tan x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and this quadratic equation can be solved by completing the square form so by completing the square how will you change this one in a square form to change this question as in a square form first of all you multiply both sides by tan y because tan x square cannot be changed in a square form so if you multiply by tan so multiplying multiplying each side by tan what we are getting 100 x square minus 30x minus 10 is equal to 0 this implies this implies 10x whole square minus 2 into 10x into 3 by 2 if you multiply then the total multiplication is will be 30x plus 3 by 2 whole square equal to 10 plus 3 by 2 whole square like this and solving this we will get the value of x so this is the method to solve quadratic equation by completing the square now third point is quadratic formula quadratic formula what is quadratic formula sridhar charya's rule sridhar charya is the indian mathematician he has developed this formula that is quadratic formula how it is developed you know ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation and this can be written as ax square plus bx is equal to minus c c is shifted that side this implies dividing throughout by a dividing dividing by a throughout throughout we get x square plus b by a x is equal to minus c by a hum dono taraf ए से डिवाइड किए हैं तो ए एक्स स्क्वायर को ए से डिवाइड करेंगे तो एक्स स्क्वायर बचेगा बी एक्स को ए से डिवाइड करेंगे तो बी बाई ए एक्स बचेगा एंड हियर इट विल बी माइनस सी बाई ए दिस इम्प्लाइज वी हैव टू वी हैव टू चेंज दिस वन इन स्क्वायर फॉर्म और कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर सो वट विल बी से एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस 2 into b by a into x. If you write, then this 2 is extra. So we have to multiply here by 2. Now solving this one, we will get b by a x plus b by 2 a whole square is equal to minus c by a plus b by 2 a. whole square we have added both sides by b by 2a whole square this implies this implies it is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square that is x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to minus c by a plus b square by 4a square this implies x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to 
it is 4a square and minus 4ac plus b square this implies x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac by 4a square then finding square root both in both sides we get x plus b by 2a is equal to under root b square minus 4ac by 2a but this will be plus and minus both where where b square minus 4ac is greater than equal to 0 if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then we will get negative value inside the square that is not defined so the root will not be real root that's why we are getting here the value of x as x is equal to minus b by 2a plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a and x is equal to 2a minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac so we are getting two values of x first value is minus b plus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a this is first value and second value is x is equal to minus b minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a so there are two values of x here b square minus 4ac should be greater than equal to 0 and this is this is called discriminant discriminant denoted as d so d is equal to b square minus 4ac so this is called quadratic formula of Sridhar Charya's rule by this rule we can find the value of x of any equation with the formula minus b plus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a and x is equal to minus b minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a where a b c you know very well coefficient of x square is a coefficient of x is b and c is a constant number so in this way we can find the value of x since it is a quadratic equation so there will be two values of x thank you